satellite images from NATO of Russian armour and advanced warplanes, part, the alliance says, of a Russian military build-up on Ukraine's eastern border to intimidate Kiev or even to provide Moscow with a military option. Russia says the images are old. The alliance insists they're recent. And this potentially the next flashpoint in the diplomatic standoff. Behind barricades, pro-Russians occupying a government building in eastern Ukraine. The country's interim prime minister is visiting the region to try to defuse the new tensions. Take a look at these black dots that we're showing here. This report says 40 encounters between the Russians and other nations over the past eight months have rattled nerves and raised tensions to a Cold War level. You mentioned that close call that Jim mentioned as well between a passenger jet and a Russian jet along in here. But there are many others from the Russians. This report says they staged a simulated bombing attack on a Danish island. A Russian jet made threatening maneuvers toward a U.S. reconnaissance. Crane. Mr. Putin's intervention prompted this new rebuke from Washington. We condemn Russia's efforts to use energy as a... Versions are not unheard of, but they're becoming more common, and this was the closest one in about two years, Jake. Well, what kind of planes are we talking about? What kind of planes do the Russians even have in their arsenal for these types of planes? For some missions, Russia is using fighter jets along with refueling planes, as Jim just mentioned, but the big piece of equipment on the scene... Turboprop, so it looks antique compared to modern bombers like the Stealth, but it's a serious weapon. Just take a look at some of the things that it has going for it here. If you go into this plane, you have a maximum speed of almost 600 miles. 